You don't have to be a pilot to appreciate aviation. Here at the Caldwell Air Show, the attraction crosses age and gender. Pilot in training. I think the thing that makes air shows exciting is just uh, people enjoy flight. I think it's built into our DNA. It's something we always dream of flying like a bird and to uh, be able to really go up there and do it, it's a thrill. It's at air shows like this where you can still see rare and inspiring World War II aircraft perform. Get those cameras out. Here come the three T6s. Horned up, looking great for a nice flyby. Right out of the mid 1940s, uh, the T6s. The popularity of these military planes has grown with audience and pilots alike. The P-51 Mustang has been a dream aircraft of mine since I can remember. Although Peterson now owns two P-51s, he has an interesting philosophy about ownership. You really don't ever own one. You're just a custodian for the next generation. And in reality, they're national treasures, national monuments. And that's the kind of respect and treatment and honor I try to give the airplane when I fly it for people. It's really a special experience. It's history, and then the people I get to meet that were part of that whole experience is really phenomenal. I can still remember the very, very first flight I took in the Mustang. You know, I've got over 300 flights in Mustangs now, and every single one is just as thrilling as that first one. They are so special, they are so much fun. It's all about really showing the sound and grace and beauty and speed of the airplane. The Mustang shows it well. I don't have to do a whole lot, really. All I need to do is get her up to speed and fly her in the right place, and she does all the work. Airplanes, for the most part, don't care whether they're right side up or upside down. They fly equally well. And so I really don't look at it as a terribly risky thing, but it's something you can't take lightly. When I was growing up, I had a poster on the wall of my bedroom, and it said, aviation is not inherently dangerous, but to an even greater extent than the sea, it is terribly unforgiving of any carelessness, incapacity, or neglect. And I think that sums up aviation. <laughs> 